We now know that nobody wins anything without some form of power. Every one of us that is here, you require power. And the essence of altars is all about power. An altar is a store of power. And you access the power through an offering. I'm aware that some people in Kenya are giving offering on some kind of altars to try and bring down the agenda of God. But I stand on this altar. I bring down every altar in Jesus name. Praise God. Be seated. This nation of Kenya belongs to Jesus. Praise God. We understand no one wins without power, we know. We know that. But the Bible in Ephesians 1, verse 19 says, The power working in us. There is power working in your life. Every believer in Kenya must hear this. The power that is working in us. The Bible says it's like the mighty strength that God excited in Jesus when he raised him up from the grave. It's a power that raises. Any power that is working to bring anybody down in Kenya, we have a power that raises and we are rising again. Are you a believer in Kenya? Shout hallelujah. We have our power. <laughs> We know their power, but we have our power. And the Bible says our power overpowers all powers and authorities. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know why. I don't know why it takes so long for some people in Kenya particularly politicians, to appreciate that the power of God is above. <laughs> if I were some of these politicians in Kenya, by now I could have embraced a different kind of power because if you apply a power of and it's not working, <laughs> however stupid you are, you can learn from failure. If I try something even for 10 years and it's not working, I discard it. If your brains are working, definitely you can know what is working and what is not. And I want to tell every Kenyan citizen that where the country of Kenya is right now, there is no amount of magical power that can survive. Right now, the only power that can survive in Kenya is the power of the Holy Spirit. However slow you are to learn, by now you know that there is no way magic can work in Kenya. And however slow you are, by now you know that there is no power that can contend with the power of God and win. Every time there is any contention, God wins. And I tell you, even offer your life. The people in this church this morning, and all of those who are watching us, wherever you are, the power of God will win even this year in Jesus' name. There is no way magical power and satanism can win in Kenya. Maybe in 1964. Maybe. But now, tell your neighbor, but now, God has taken over. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, but now, Jehovah has taken over. Tell Kenya, but now, God has taken over.
Let me educate politicians. This is not the time to waste your money to borrow power. <laughs> it can't work. <laughs> I am on this altar. Listen to me. This is not the time. Let the politicians spend their money to save their families and their relatives. Now I be a prophet of God in this nation. Every demonic altar will fail. I say it will fail. Let me use a fair language. It must fail. How many of you believe that this is an altar of the Almighty God where we are? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe every demon called us with faith, shout yes. yes. Every demonic altar has failed before it starts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anything that might have been done in this land while I was away. Right now, because I am back, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. I was away. In I approved every plant and every seed that is demonic in Jesus' name. Every word that was spoken that is anti-God, I bring it down in Jesus' name. If your amen is louder, you are part of my team. Nothing that is against God will survive as long as we are here. Whether by magicians, whether by politicians, whether by witches and wizards, anything that is demonic shall not survive. Anything that stands up against God, I bring it down in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. I can assure you. I can assure you that from this hour, every altar of the enemy is it defeated. Hallelujah. Listen to me, Kenya. Anyone planning for bloodshed, the blood of Jesus covers that. Hallelujah. There will be no bloodshed in Jesus' name. There are, there, are, there are demonic altars that are being planted in Kenya this coming week. And the intention, they are demanding for a sacrifice of blood. They have been given money, they are now saying, this cannot come out the way we want without blood. The Lord spoke to us last year that there will be no blood shed in Kenya. I repeat it before you that from this hour no blood shed in Kenya in Jesus name. No blood that will be shed. But we say as a church no innocent blood will be shed in Kenya again. God spoke to us last year. He said not even blood of a dog of an innocent individual that will die. And that's why we are enjoying peace. I have seen some people that have swallowed the demon of blood and they are really, they are really looking for blood. Sit down, please. Kenya, magicians will fail. Listen to me, Kenya. Every magician, whether purchased, borrowed, hired, we Whichever form they may appear, every magician, whether Kenyan or borrowed from other nations, will fail in Jesus' name. I scatter them. <laughs> I dismantle them. I destabilize them. I cause confusion in their camp. If I be a man of God, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise God. Sit down. Kenya is not the first country where magicians have failed. No. There are two countries in the Bible where magicians failed. The first country was Egypt. It's also in Africa. Egypt. 
Kenya is not the first country. We are not doing something that has never been done. Magicians have been failing. And they will fail next week. I say it will fail next week. Are you here? Magicians have always failed. And they will fail. Listen to this. Another country in Africa where magicians fail. In Genesis 41 verse 8. In the morning, his mind was troubled. This is the Pharaoh. So he sent for all the magicians and the wise men of Egypt. Pharaoh told them his dreams, but no one could interpret them for him. They failed. Even the magicians right now in Kenya who are listening to me, you will fail. I say you have failed. Magicians in Kenya, you have failed. This February will be a shock of their life. Praise be to God. Another country in, the, in, in, in Asia where magicians fail is in Daniel chapter 4 verse 7. When the magicians and diviners came, I told them the dream, but they could not interpret it for me. Number one, in Egypt, they failed. In Babylon, they failed. In Kenya, they have failed. And they will fail everywhere they go because God is taking over Africa in Jesus' name. Praise God. We are a church of Jesus Christ. And we fail not. I say we fail not. Tell somebody we belong to Jesus. Tell someone here we belong to Jesus. We don't fail. We don't fail. And tell somebody if you belong to Jesus. Every time my Christians come against you. Be sure they will fail. Jesus is on your side. Hallelujah.